What's going on YouTube? Geosnorad here. So in today's video I'm going to show you something pretty interesting. I'm going to show you yesterday's Athenas basically running on a device with my jailbreak, Blizzard jailbreak, and basically making the jailbreak to run by itself and jailbreak the device immediately after a reboot without user intervention. So this is actually pretty cool. It's the closest we're going to get to an untether at this point, but do keep in mind before we even start the video, please don't skip this part. This is not a jailbreak for iOS. 14.4. This is not a jailbreak for 14.4.1. Do not update the 14.4 or 14.4.1. There is no jailbreak available yet. So this sort of fun tether code execution zero click thing that they have, I don't even know how to call it, is actually legitimate and it would actually work on 14.4 but this doesn't come with a jailbreak. This is just the automation part for the jailbreak to make it run after a reboot by itself. It's not a jailbreak so do keep that in mind and it's not even a full untether like it's not an OG untether you know with code sign bypass and persistence and stuff like that it's basically just able to run the jailbreak by itself and jailbreak your device after reboot without you tapping on the application and going to it I actually have a demo with my blizzard jailbreak doing exactly that without me touching the device or anything like that in the coming minutes but please do not skip this information is important so for those of you interested in blizzard uh, it's basically an open source jailbreak that I maintain that I have created for basically my test cases it's not complete it's nowhere near completion yet because really it doesn't have to it's not a competition between me Coolstar and Poundtown and stuff like that they can have the mainstream jailbreaks I made Blizzard just to basically learn so I actually improve it as I can and as I have time but really I mostly use it for testing purposes but yeah it does have TFP0 it can basically get TFP0 on iOS 13 iOS 11 and even iOS 14 with security a Verosa up to 14.3 but not 14.4 keep that in mind so what I did was to basically take the code from Athena's dev team here who these poor schmucks have actually received the most hate I could see ever from you know toxic people calling them fake and stuff like that and I want to set the record straight they are not fake okay what they have may not be an untether like they claim in here but really I called it the same thing yesterday because there isn't really a better word for it to make you understand what it does because it kinda is like an untether. It makes your jailbreak to basically run by itself immediately after boot without you touching the device. So by the time the device fully boots, you're already jailbroken. But it's not really an untether in an OG way and that's probably why they get a lot of hate but many people believe that it's actually completely fake. Well, it's not. Their method works. It requires a lot of mumbo jumbo with Xcode, downgrading Xcode to a very old version to, you know, take advantage of a very old SDK because apparently Apple patched this they didn't really patch it on device side so if you are able to use an older SDK you are able to trigger this into your jailbreak and make your jailbreak run by itself immediately after reboot pretty cool it's a neat trick not a full untether with an exploit but a neat trick so with that being said please don't update the 14.4 or 14.4.1 and this is not something major like wow a huge untether exploit or stuff like that it's a neat trick I'm not sure how useful it would be for jailbreak purposes but for me it's pretty cool because it allows me to have a jailbreak that actually re jailbreaks by itself every time the phone reboots but you would still need to sign the application every seven days or to get a paid developer account to sign it for one year with these warnings and you know disclaimers said let's see it in action with the blizzard jailbreak that I have created all right so the device boots let's see exactly what's going on here it should run the blizzard application by itself without problems Okay, there we go, it booted. Now we're waiting for it to start running the things in the background. And there you go, as you can see, it completely ran the jailbreaking application and it got TFP0. You can see it's a valid TFP0 port and the proper kernel base. Well, let me try to focus a little bit. So it says device is now jailbroken, task for PID0 has been achieved, got root, escaped sandbox and wrote the test file. And you can see that it was successfully initialized. This should work pretty fine. And if I open the blizzard, which has a very rudimentary UI here, just for testing purposes, it says, already jailbroken so as you can see it does run by itself so I'm gonna clear all those notifications now let me actually do that if I could uh, let me do it off screen 
All right, so I have cleared all the notifications and I'm gonna restart this device and I'm gonna show you again that it can run. So let me restart it. Um, I wanna wait for it to shut down completely. And okay, I think it's the time to redo it. I'm gonna restart it and bam. Okay, so let's see. It should run again the exploit without any problem. So this is basically as close as you can get to an untether nowadays. It's not a full untether, but it's pretty similar. So as you can see, the device booted and I'm not even touching it just to you know show you the UI and stuff. And as you can see, Blizzard started initializing again, got the kernel base again. You can actually even compare it to the previous part of the video and you can see it's a completely different thing. So yeah, their thing is not fake actually, it does work. It's actually pretty interesting, it's a neat trick. Not a full untether. I'm not sure how useful can this be for a jailbreak. But yeah, after a reboot, I didn't need to press the Blizzard application and to jailbreak myself. It jailbroke right after a reboot. Pretty cool, not a full untether. It doesn't have code sign bypass. It doesn't have, you know, a persistence, but it can run the jailbreak automatically after reboot, which I do believe is pretty neat. So while Apple tried to actually patch this, they didn't really patch it. They basically just took it out of the SDKs. So it's pretty interesting. It can still be done. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Thank you for watching. It's basically a pretty interesting project. It can be pretty useful, though I'm not sure how useful it is for jailbreaking in general for, you know, for the average Joe. Basically it saves you a tap and like a couple of seconds from opening the application and whatever, but it's a neat trick. That's what I wanted to outline here. And the fact that this poor schmucks that got a lot of hate and they, they got called fake and all the names popped Possible, actually did find something interesting, something that really worked, which I didn't know about. Congratulations, Athena's team. It may not be the next untether of the century, but it is code execution after reboot with no user intervention. So pretty nice work. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.